The best poik of the day goes to Team Cafe Roo. We loved your poik, ladies and gentlemen. I think it was simple, but uh, quality ingredients and like put a little bit of food. love and heart into it. I think we and we enjoyed it doing it. This is the third year that the Nurtuk village has been doing a, a cook-off like this, a poiki pot competition. But it's really just about bringing a community together on Heritage Day, aka Bride Day, you know. So it's really nice to like hang out with all your neighbours, eat some good food, drink some good wine. It tastes really good. I, I like it. It's different. In Germany, you don't have that. It was nice. Fantastic. Yeah. What are you having? We're having the Springbok. Springbok. So let me just finish my lovely food. <laughs> Celebrating Heritage Day. We cooked a lamb shoulder. Um, with garlic and herbs and all that sort of thing and we we're pretty confident we've done a good job so it sold out in about 20 minutes one of the things that i looked at today which is really something that's quite close to my heart is where do my where does my food come from and what's in it that sort of mindset so I'm very upset when when people say oh I just put in a, a rainbow chicken or a, you know battery fed chicken because um, it's like um, allowing food producers to medicate you in many respects and then it's also inhumane on the way that they bring up animals so that we eat so you for me you've got to show respect to the animals that you eat so that was the key thing I wanted to know where where did it come from was it free range was it organic and wasn't always but I think that's part of a journey people go on it's been a great day yeah very pleased to have the sun out careful babes kids are on Queen Devon See?